Hello everyone, it's about 4am in the morning here in Cape Town, and that means that it's just a few minutes to the launch of Ludum Dare 28. And it looks like the theme's just been announced as you only get one. It's just like this mad shopping game. It's like a first person um, view and you're, you're controlling your trolley. And you've got like a, a list of items you need to buy and how many there are remaining. There are all these bots sort of rushing around trying to beat you to the last uh, remaining items and trying to get all the special deals and stuff, so... Uh, it sounds a little bit crazy, but I'll see if I can work with it. Well, the first hour has absolutely flown by, um, and what I've managed to do so far is just throw together a quick um, custom first-person controller and uh, set it up with a trolley um, and you can just basically move around and uh, yeah, control your trolley okay so it's hour three and um, I've basically implemented a aisle system where the aisle is um, randomly filled with stock so at the moment there's just one stock, all these red cubes um, for testing but uh, yeah, the system's in place, I just gotta get all the graphics and whatnot now. At this point it was about quarter past seven, and all I wanted to do was go back to bed, but uh, my dog came in and stood guard, so I had to keep on working. And I started with the, the different models for the electronic section of the store, and um, I decided to go at this point for a very simplistic style, because I realized there's just gonna be a lot of this that I had to do, and I, I even considered um, you know, UV unwrapping them all and doing textures and everything, but uh, decided to be a little bit realistic in the end and just sort of um, assign the materials in Unity. And uh, yeah, so I experimented with uh, the physics system for a while, trying to get them to fall into the trolley. And um, I had some mishaps with that, as you can see here with the sort of flying trolley effect. Um, but after a little bit of work, it started to work. Uh, nicely and this is my result um, at about half past ten I think. I spent uh, far too long trying to get uh, the style of shopper that I wanted and eventually I just went for the simplest thing that I could create. Um, I think it turned out quite nicely and you can see his shadow bobbing along here and also I was experimenting with a number of different um, shopping list styles but all of these have been quite horrid so far. Um, and I also added some color into the electronics section because everything was looking really gray and I implemented trolley crashing um, but of course you can see the player still runs around so I added in ragdolls which always turn out more chaotic and more fun than one could possibly imagine um, here I had an instance where I was spawning in way too many of them um, and now you can see there's a basic AI system implemented they're moving around and also the ragdolls are working correctly um, and it's a cool sort of camera zoom out effect when you when you die and um, Here you can see most of the groceries and uh, other stock are in place and um, They're being spawned in on the aisles correctly, you know, not overlapping on the edges and whatever So um, you can see at this point a lot of the graphics are in place and most of the gameplay too uh, So I decided to spend some time working on the main menu um, and so I believe at this point, from my backup logs, it seems to be about um, 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. And uh, there's still quite a bit to do, but I was, I was quite content with my progress. And um, I decided to start working on the sound effects and the, and the music. So I went out to our local pick and pay, which is the um, South African supermarket, and recorded trolley noises, and I overlaid sounds of me running in Audacity to get the trolley running noise. And then for the actual trolley collision sound, I just sort of banged my trolley, uh, my trolley door, my trolley door, um, a bunch of times. And then I messed around with the tracks in Audacity to get the um, to get the final sound, which is this. So the next thing was to rummage through some of my old piano books and try to find some pieces that I vaguely knew how to play. 
So here we have um, Tears Don't Fall by Bullet For My Valentine, a little section of Feralis by Beethoven, and finally some, uh, some of the theme to Curse of the Black Pearl, um, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And just like that, I had some semblance of a soundtrack, and uh, with it, a finished game. So I hope you've enjoyed watching my progress over the last 48 hours, and um, yeah, I hope you'll give the game a try and let me know what you think. Cheers.